Good morning. Good to study God's word with you today. Today we're looking at our second lesson, Hebrews chapter 12. We're going to look at verses uh, 1 through 3 today. Now the Hebrews, they were, uh, they were people who um, often faced opposition. They uh, faced opposition because of their conversion to Christianity. And it was something that became prevalent in their lives and in their livelihood and well this can happen to us too right opposition for our beliefs and that's what we're talking about this week how jesus said he divides and we can face opposition for our for our beliefs and the and the truths of god's word and you, know, you really believe that god created a world in six days and um, that god you believe in a, a god who sent a flood to cover the whole earth a God who you really believe sent a you know a fish, a great fish, to swallow up Jonah, and yeah, we can get criticized for for our faith, and whether that comes from family, friends, or maybe those that we don't get along with. But that happens. That's because Jesus is a divider. But here we have words of encouragement uh, from God to His people through the Apostle Paul. Um, and what do we do when we face opposition? Here, God gives encouragement. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. What's the encouragement? Uh, fix our eyes on Jesus. Focus on Jesus and all that he, all that he went through. You know, the opposition that Jesus faced. Um, but why? Why did he do it? He did it for you. He did it so the joy... Set before Jesus, the joy of him knowing that you and I would be with him forever in heaven. So he took the suffering. He took the opposition. He took the persecution from sinful men. He did that so you and I would be his. And in doing so would be united to him for now and forever. So that's where our focus lies. We fix our eyes on Jesus. Um, and in that we see the, the motivation and the perseverance to hold on to what we have because what we have it's everything let's pray dear lord we thank you um, for often the opposition that we face in life but we do so knowing that we hold on to you and know that what we have with you is of far greater value than anything this world has to offer give us the strength to do that to hold on to you uh, and to recognize to stand up for you uh, as your children as your believers to live lives that glorify you. We ask that you give us the, the faith to look to you and to see that when we struggle, when we're weak, to know that you suffered, you died in our place, uh, that you were perfect in our place so that we could join you in your perfect heavenly home. And that is yours and it is ours. We thank you for this gift. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.